Y'all, I think I might have a problem. Hey, I'm Dan, and this is Puzzle File. What you're looking at right here is my to-do stack. These are all the puzzles that I'm really excited to get to, and I haven't yet. These stacks have gotten a little out of control lately, so I'm instituting a new rule. I'm not saying no new puzzles, partly because I think I have a few in the mail that are on the way. But what I am saying is I have to be completing more puzzles than I'm bringing in so that these stacks start to shrink in size over time. So today we're going to go through everything that's in my to-do stack, see if we can get a full count of everything that's here. And I've got a couple of boxes that came recently that I haven't opened yet, so we'll look at what's in those. So I thought this would be a fun way for me to show you what kind of puzzles I'm interested in, what different kind of puzzles are out there that you might not be aware of, and then for you to also tell me which of these puzzles you'd like to see me do on this channel. So I'm gonna clear these out of our way, and the first thing I'm gonna show you is a couple puzzles that I'm in the middle of right now. So I often have more than one puzzle going at a time. Uh, sometimes I'm shooting one for a video, and then I have another one that I'm doing for fun or something like that. Right now I'm working on these two puzzles, so probably by the time you're watching this video, these are completed, and you can see them posted on my Instagram. This is a 2000 piece gradient puzzle by artist Amy Stewart. The brand is Buffalo. It's all Amy April over on Instagram. So people are doing all of their Amy Stewart puzzles. This is actually the first Amy Stewart puzzle I've ever done. And it's probably the only one I'm doing this month. And this is a thousand piece pomegranate puzzle. I have a few pomegranates in the to-do stack. So you're gonna be hearing more about them today. This looks like just a fun picture at first glance, but it's actually an oil painting by photorealist painter Eric Wirt. Really amazing artwork there and such incredible details. I'm having a lot of fun with this one. This next group of puzzles is for another Instagram event. Instagrammer Night Owl Puzzler is hosting a flower power puzzle along the week of April 17th. So I've got five flower themed puzzles here that I'm going to be doing and we'll see how many I get to during that week. This is a thousand piece by Buffalo called Posy Patch. It's just kind of a fun flower design on a black background. This is a 750 piece by Milton Bradley called Composition with Wild Roses and it's got this gold foil overlay that I thought would be fun to do. It's been so hard for me not to break into this one early. I think it's fantastic. This is a Gallison called Desert Flora. It's a thousand pieces. I've been saving this one for this puzzle along. And then I have two vintage spring box. I found both of these in thrift stores. This is Misty Roses from 1982. It's over 500 pieces and it looks kind of tricky because of this hazy image. And this one looks like so much fun. This is Plantasia from 1977, also 500 pieces. Okay, next up, this is so silly, but I have three puzzles with playing card designs on them. I think I'm gonna do them all at once and do a video of it. This one is a vintage Springbok from 1982 called Dealer's Delight. Then in 1999, Seiko did this line of conversation pieces. So this is 500 pieces and this is a shaped puzzle. It's made to look exactly like if you threw a bunch of cards out on the table. And finally, this is a thousand piece Piatnik puzzle. Piatnik is an Austrian brand. This is all face cards from different decks. I showed this one over on Instagram and a lot of people were interested in it. So I'm hoping to get to these soon. This next stack has a few more vintage puzzles. This is a vintage Springbok from 1975 called The Swinging Gourmet. I thought this was just such a funny image. I found this in a thrift store for a few dollars. And something really cool about this one is the sides of the box are orange. Most of these old Springboks have black sides to the boxes, so that makes it kind of unique. 
This puzzle claims to be the greatest jigsaw puzzle of all time. Buffalo put out a few of these in 1991. This is the second episode, so if I like this one, I might get the other two. The gimmick with these is they are double-sided. All the pieces are the same shape. You can fit them together in any arrangement you want, so you have to find the right arrangement. And all the pieces have this piece within a piece design. They've got these little squares that pop into the middle of them. So the front side has this all color image and the back side is all clocks. And according to the box, it sounds like there's some sort of puzzle to solving the clocks. It says, there is a pattern to the order in which the little clock hands are inserted into the hundreds of faces. Unfortunately, you can't discover the patterns until the puzzle is assembled and you can't assemble the puzzle until the pattern is known. This vintage Springbok was sent to me by Mickey, aka the Messy Bun Puzzler on Instagram. This is a really special, kind of rare 1968 Springbok. I think this image is so cool. Mickey sent it to me on the condition that I not keep it in my collection, but instead pass it along to another puzzler when I'm done with it. The artwork is from the 1500s. It's called Majnun Visits Layla's Camp. I've been so excited to get to this one and I just haven't yet because it's like too special. I'm saving it for a, a special occasion. And I've talked about this one over on my Instagram page. I found this in a thrift store for a few dollars. This is the Dole Flat Banana. This is a really special vintage Springbok 1979. It's an all yellow puzzle with just this Dole sticker on it. These stickers aren't part of the image. Those are just on the package. I found this still sealed, still in the original wrap from 1979, which is really special and rare, and so I kind of can't decide if I'm gonna unwrap it or not. It's a shame for it to just sit in the wrapper and never be solved, so I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> Moving on to my modern puzzles, this is the biggest part of the stack, so I'm gonna kinda just go in order of size. First up is this 250 piece puzzle from Eurographics called Giraffes. I just thought this would be a fun one on a day when I want something quick. This is a 300 piece pomegranate by artist Charlie Harper called Biodiversity in the Burbs. I have a couple other Charlie Harpers in the stack, so we're gonna talk about him more. But I've never done a 300 piece pomegranate before and I was really surprised when I opened this box and saw how big the pieces are. With Charlie Harper's bright, flat illustrations and the huge piece size, this really reminds me of putting together big board puzzles as a kid. So I have actually never done a Puzz 3D. I've always kind of felt like I wouldn't like them as much as a 2D puzzle, so I've never bought one. But my friend B finished this one and gave it to me to try it. So this is 366 pieces. I should be getting to this one soon. This is a 500 piece Gallison called Feathers. I've been trying to slow down on the Gallisons. I think I've done five or six Gallisons so far this year. I have this one and the Desert Flora that I showed you already to do still. But Gallison just has so many great images and I think their boxes are so beautiful. This is a 550 piece Seiko of Maleficent. I got this at the thrift store. The Thousand Piecers. This art books puzzle is by Remarks. Collage puzzles like this are so fun and easy to do because it's like you're doing... It's like you're doing 45 mini puzzles. This is from the brand Fred. It's called San Francisco. This is by a husband and wife artist team called the Little Friends of Printmaking. This pomegranate has maybe been in the to-do stack the longest. This is The Wedding Dance by Peter Bruegel. I love it, I love the art, and I love pomegranate puzzles, but I'm a little intimidated by the color palette. I feel like this one's gonna be pretty hard when I get to it. I think that's why I keep putting it off. This one is from Eurographics. Come on. This is a 1931 oil painting by Art Deco painter Tamara de Lempica. I'm feeling a little nervous about all this green. This one might be pretty tricky to do, especially since it's a thousand pieces. But this was just too beautiful to not grab it in the thrift store when I saw it. This is a cobble hill called Teacups. Cobble Hill makes really nice quality puzzles. You can see that this is their recently retired big box. They've just moved to a smaller box size. I gotta say, 
I like really big boxes for puzzles, but I know some people have storage limitations and it's definitely a little bit better for the planet to downsize these boxes. This is probably not the most exciting image to most people, but I love this kind of puzzle. An extreme close up of like objects with different textures on each one, love it. This is gonna be so fun to do because you just say, all right, let me pull out all the ones with these black stripes. Now let me pull out all the ones with this color green. Love a puzzle like that. Okay, I promised you some more Charlie Harper. I am obsessed with these. Pomegranate has put out a lot of puzzles by this artist and I want them all. Charlie Harper called his art style minimal realism and these lovely graphic flat illustrations are just perfect for jigsaw puzzles. This one is called Mystery of the Missing Migrants, and this one is called Monteverde. Charlie Harper was an environmentalist, and he also wrote a lot about conservation and environmental activism. At some point, I'd love to do a whole video on Charlie Harper and on these pomegranate puzzles. I have one 1,500-piece puzzle waiting on me. This is Butterfly Spectrum from Buffalo. This one has been sitting in the stack for a long time also. I need to get to this soon. This one looks really easy to sort. Obviously I can sort the layers out, red, orange, yellow, green, but I've heard from people that it's actually really tricky to put together. I guess within each layer, there's not a lot of variation to go on. These are the big boys. This 2000 piece spring box is called Colors of Money. I think they still carry this in a thousand piece size, but the 2000 piece came out in 2007 and they don't make it anymore. The piece size is huge. It's their regular piece size, but in a 2000, that means that this is a giant puzzle, which is why it's in such a huge box. It's 34 inches by 42 inches when it's put together. And that's kind of why I haven't gotten to it yet because I'm gonna need to clear out a big space to hold it. This is the 5,000 piece Pokemon All Stars by Ravensburger. I've been wanting this puzzle for a long time and I was telling my mother about it recently and then a few days later it showed up in the mail. So thank you, mom, thank you so much. I'm working on plans for making this one happen. And finally, this one should have been with the vintage puzzles, I guess, but I just thought it fit better with the big box puzzles. This is a 6,000 piece puzzle from puzzle brand Nathan, which is a French brand. It was made in 1982. It's called The Four Moments of the Day. This is an incredibly beautiful Art Nouveau painting. So the thing with really big puzzles is they have to have something going on all across the image. And so a lot of them, I don't really like the picture on them. So I was really excited to find this one, which I think has enough going on that it's gonna be very doable as a puzzle, but it's also a really beautiful image too. Finally, we're almost to the end. I just have to unbox some of these that came in this week. This first little package is from Zen Chalet. Okay, box within a box. This is one of their new ones. This is the 200 piece octopus. Zen Chalet makes really beautiful wooden puzzles at an affordable price compared to other wooden puzzle companies. If you're not familiar with them, definitely check them out. This package is from an eBay seller. This is just a cool little vintage puzzle I found on eBay called Vivid Rings of Saturn. It was put out by Science News Magazine in 1989. It's just the rings of Saturn and then the, the Earth is here for scale. I thought this was a great, colorful, interesting, vintage space puzzle. All things I love. This last big box is from my sister. She sent me some of the puzzles she was done with. There's a couple I'm really excited about in here. This is a 300 piece from Buffalo called Surf Shack. This looks like it'll be a fun, quick one to do for summertime. This one's a 500 piece Ravensburger with the large piece format. And it is called Panorama Blick. Oh no, Scenic Overlook. 
Have to read the English one. This looks like a fun image. We love a Ravensburger. Ooh, this is a lovely 2000 piece buffalo called Antiques and Curiosities. Love it, nice busy image, looks fun to do. And then the two that I'm really excited about. Liberty Wooden Puzzles. I could not have said yes faster when my sister offered these to me. This is the grizzly bear and this is the toucan. These are two shaped wooden puzzles. The toucan is 323 pieces. The grizzly bear is 471 pieces. This is gonna be my first experience with Liberty Puzzles because I can't afford them. So I'll probably be doing these pretty soon. So those are the last ones that I have to show you. If my counting is right, I think that was 37 puzzles in my to-do stack. But that's not even everything, because I have six puzzles sitting right over there that I'm not showing to you because I'm saving them for a couple videos I have coming up. Two of them are for my next video, so you'll see those soon. And the other four are for a big project that I'm hoping to get to in the next few weeks. And as I said, I think I have maybe three more puzzles coming in the mail. So that puts us up to what, 46 puzzles that I need to get to. I've got some work ahead of me. As I said, I'm not stopping buying new puzzles entirely, but I just have to make sure that I am doing more puzzles than I'm buying. I wanna see this stack start to shrink down. If you wanna see which puzzles I'm working on in real time, follow me on Instagram where I post everything that I'm doing. I'll link that down below. I'm also gonna provide links to as many of these puzzles as I can, whichever ones are still available. Everything I do gets posted on my Instagram, but let me know in the comments which of these videos you'd like to see me do here on YouTube. Let me get back to puzzling. Catch y'all next time. <laughs>